test, just as a side note, is the way that this is scored is they always scored two points for the products and one point for the reactants. So even if you do not know the correct formula of ethanol, yep. then you would get still two, two points. points. But uh, it does require it to be balanced, so you might just make some things up here. Yeah. All right. turns out, um, I, I like to ethanol. There's this prefix in, um, this is called an organic compound. And we'll talk about that later. Yeah, we will. But real quick, I want to just give you a real um, uh, pneumatic device. Is that what you call it? Mm, pneumonic. My pneumonic. My elephant plays basketball. Did you know that? No, I did not. Yeah, it's kind of like I'm a good, you know, cowbell player. Yeah. Yeah. This stands for methyl. M -E T H Y L. And this is ethyl. This is propyl. And this is butyl. This actually the the, the, the prefix tells you what about the how, it compound. tells us how many carbons are in yeah, the compound. So in terms of this would be one carbon, ethyl is two carbons, propyl is three, and butyl is four. So if I want to write ethanol, how many carbons will ethanol That's going to be two carbons. So it's got two carbons. And then what it has, if it's an alcohol, the all ending is and OH. OH. And actually, you just fill in the fill rest, in the rest of, of H's with hydrogens. Now, you, actually, on the AP test, it would be totally acceptable to write it in a stick figure, mm -hmm. uh, structural formula, as I just did, plus O2 makes CO2 and H2O. There now, you may not completely know this, and then we'd have to go back and balance it, so yeah. I'm not going to worry about that. I bet you could balance this yep. um, real quickly. But that's how it's essentially done. Right. So, um, okay. Now, what about sodium metal? This is cool. Remember, we did this a couple of years ago for mold day, didn't oh, we? Oh, yeah, we did. We, I think we used potassium. Right? We tried to use potassium. That it was kind of a dud. Well. No. Yeah, but sodium, sodium worked, worked pretty well. Yeah. 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 This no, was fun. I had a friend, uh, I don't know if I should tell you the story, but he <laughs> dropped uh, uh, my old high school, that's who it was, my old high school chemistry teacher. They got a hold of a bunch of sodium. They wrapped it in a plastic bag, dropped it into a lake, and ran ah. every fish in the lake. I can imagine. Died. By the way, that's illegal, yes, so don't do that. That's never <laughs> try that at home. She didn't get caught. Okay, sodium metal. So I must, this, this is a NAS, so I should just... It should well, be there's no charge on sodium metal. Okay, so this is just pure, pure sodium. Pure sodium. Oxygen is zero. Water. Now, when I add it to water, I oftentimes like to Let's go water HOH. Yeah. HOH. Yeah. Now, the sodium is no charge, so he has to acquire a charge. The charge has to, the only other charge you've ever learned about is... Na plus. So positive one, Na positive one. Yep. So that's going up. Yep. This is our upper guy. Upper? That sounds like we're taking drugs or something. No. Okay, we need to find somebody that. to go down. The hydrogen here is a plus one. The O is negative two, and this hydrogen is plus one. Uh-huh. So O, let's talk about O for a moment. It's at minus two, so if we're to go down, it have to go down to like minus three or minus four. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. But the H is positive one, so yep. we can go down to... H2. It's a zero charge. Right, H2. zero charge. Now, what does that leave us with? Uh, looks like we got some OHs left over there. That leaves us with OH. Yep. Now, this is one of the uh, metal displacement ones we talked about earlier. Yeah, just as a note, you, it, you might think of it as NaOH plus hydrogen, right. actually. But the NaOH, of course, is a Na, and yep. so it completely dissociates. Completely dissociated, so, so we're going to write it as the ions. separate the NAs and the OHs. I don't believe that's balanced. We probably could balance this one. Um, yeah, I not think balanced. I need to put a two, two there, and then a two in front of hydroxide, and you're good. And a two here, and I think we're good, yeah. All right, I think we just have one more, and then we can call this a podcast. All right, hydrogen, and you know, folks, just as a side note, we're doing like five or six examples, but the problem is, is that uh, that doesn't suffice. You have to just do these with us. Yes, there lots to, and lots You probably got to do 50 of these. I mean, I hate to say that, but that's really what's going to help you figure it. this out. All right, if I got hydrogen peroxide solution. Now, it says solution, but you'd think you'd dissociate it, but hydrogen peroxide stays, stays together. together, so it's just H2O2. Now, as a side note, the pr what is the charge or the oxidation of, of O in peroxide? That one is minus one. Yeah, okay, so that means he doesn't like that. No. It's not very common. Mm -mm. And that reacts with iron two sulfite, so that Fe two positive plus sulfate, which is SO4, two negative. So we've got to find charges that can change. Yeah, well, I'm guessing that oxygen's going to change because it doesn't like to be negative one. So what is he going to turn to? Well, oxygen has a couple of choices. He yeah. can go to negative two, mm -hmm. or he can go down to zero. Right, and Actually, on our up to zero or down to negative two. I said right, that. and on our list it says H two O two becomes O two. So that's going up or down. Uh, that one is going up, but strangely, it's on our down list. Oh, do we have a typo? I'm not sure. Negative one to zero is an up. You know, on our guess what, guys? We're gonna have to fix this. So if we go back to our down list, this should say water. 
And then if we go to our up list, we can fix this on our... Yeah, we'll fix it on our copies, handouts. Unfortunately. <laughs> H2O2 can go to O2 on the up list. There you go. That is the correct way that this is done. So let's go back to our screen. That's the wrong screen. Yep. Okay. All right. So now. Now, since we don't know what oxygen is going to do, let's look at iron, our other choice over here. Now, iron is at a. It's a that's the fair us. That's the that's us. That's the lower one. So he actually could go up to positive three or down to zero. Right. And it's pretty rare for them to go down to zero. Yes, and if we look on our up list, metal S ions go to metal ic so ions. So we can go to Fe. Positive. Right, so since that one is going up, we, we can assume then that the oxygen is going to go down. Now, when oxygen goes down, you don't write O negative 2. In fact, oxide does not exist in nature by itself. No, it's always but with something. And so what's the other something that's around? We have sulfate and we have some hydrogen. I would stick it with hydrogen. If you have hydrogens, that essentially makes water. Water. So our two reactants, I think we probably should balance this one. This yeah, one probably. Balance. Let's take a look now, notice that sulfate's not going to do anything. Sulfate is not on our list as... Um, it could go down to sulfite, actually. It could, but that's probably not going to happen no, too no, often. Very, yeah. And again, this is one of those things that if you did that, it probably wouldn't kill you on that for the AP test. But you get your charge wrong. Charge is wrong there. I've got them backwards, don't I? Yep. This is going from two positive to three positive. There you go. I'm going to add one electron. So that's the first half reaction. That's the easy one. Yep. And now I'm going to do H2O2, and that goes to water. And it's in a solution. It doesn't say if it's acidic or basic, so we assume it's... I'm going to assume it's acidic. Assume it's acidic. Now yep. we've got a problem with the water, so if yep. I put two waters right here... Mm -hmm. Now, now we I have, have a hydrogen issue. Hydrogens, two hydrogens, I believe I need. Yep. And then I'm going to have two, two electrons, electrons on this side, and that's it. Actually, I do need to multiply this side with the top half reaction by two, yep. and that's it. So then, then this becomes, I'll double that, two, two, and two. My electrons cancel. I end up with 2H positive plus H2O2. Notice I've ignored the sulfate. We talked about that a minute ago. Plus Fe, 2Fe, uh, two positive makes 2Fe3 positive plus 2 waters. And so that's how we do that. It is. You know, Mr. Bergman, guess what? What? I got a fever. You got a fever. And the only prescription is more cowbell. He smacked his head. More cowbell! More cowbell! Push through the pain!